Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games here for part 7 of my Yunnan Free Empire campaign. I'm a little bit annoyed right now because I'm actually having to re-record this, so it might seem like I'm moving a bit faster than usual because I'm doing some steps that I've already done before. What basically happened was that I had recorded part 7, and... I was then starting to record part 8 and I noticed that my mic was muted. And what had happened was during the original recording of part 7, I sneezed and I muted it. I, I, I quickly clicked over to the OBS to hit the mute button so you, the sneeze wouldn't blow out everybody's earphones. And then I thought I clicked it back on and I didn't. So there was just silence. So I have to re-record this now. But it's not a big deal because, you know, I wasn't on Iron Man mode. So I could do that. I could go back, thankfully. Um, I'm going to do Excavation 3. Uh, so I think that actually was on its own a pretty strong argument for me not to uh, ever maybe play Iron Man mode again. Just because in case of accidents happening like that. Like, never do Iron Man on the channel. A lot of you know I do really enjoy doing um, achievement hunting. But I suppose I could just start doing that on my own time. All right, how's everybody looking here? Building some things. Let's just get these. Just get these divisions out. Let's just get them out and train them up. Lots of artillery missing. Let's go ahead and delete that. So what I'm going to do here is the one China policy because I messed up on that border clash. We're going to do one China policy into conquering Tibet and just secure the entire western half of uh, the area. I don't know if China's gonna hang on uh, this illegitimate government that claims to be really representing the Chinese people. I don't know how long it's gonna hold on. I, it would be kinda nice if it continues to hold on for a while against Japan, uh, but I'm pretty soon here going to the intervention in Scandinavia. After this, I'm going to start getting ready, start getting my logistics together, start training up some more armies. Actually, I think I could start doing that now. How many of these can I make? Alright, that's fine. Uh, and start thinking about the war with Japan, because of, of course I want to push them out of mainland China and, and Korea and force the surrender there, but I'm going to have to be careful because the British Raj has fallen. So I need to be thinking about Siam, which after I take Communist China and Tibet, I'm going to have... A, I'm going to have this border with them here over in Kashmir. I've already got the border over here with Indochina and Burma. And through here in West Bengal, they'll also have access to me. Of course, I could just puppet Tibet. That will shorten things, but I won't. I'll just absorb them. Uh, United States is getting involved against Germany. It's already 1943. Good job. <laughs> and, man, Hungary is just continuing to run wild all over Stalin. We'll see how long he takes to capitulate. Okay, now you all, I want to come over here. We're going to be suffering from a bit of attrition. What am I researching now? Uh, okay, once this advanced fire base is done, I don't really need the softer heart attack anytime soon, but I am going to want to grab logistic companies. So that'll lower my supply usage, and I think is going to, for how many support, how much support equipment I am putting into it, I think overall is going to do some really good things for me as far as uh, this attrition is going and it's really artillery that's the main thing that I'm missing right now uh, at the current rate it take about two years to catch up and because I am going to be making more divisions I mean more armies soon because this guy has this special trait he's a career officer I think I'm just going to promote him now. Good. And later on, he's going to get his own group of divisions. Almost done with the one China policy. The moment that's done, uh, the war will begin here. Well, or perhaps whenever these guys decide they want to go. Uh, it's the attrition, the attrition. I'm trying to remember if there's a way I could force them to just still move forward. Well, once I take their capital up here, that ought to be enough. 
Okay, one more day. Done. And now, wait, what will integrate do? Military invasion. Now, let's just, well, I suppose I could try to just integrate them. We'll try to just integrate. We'll demand subjugation, and we probably get a war goal afterwards if it doesn't work out. Also, I don't think improving the workers' conditions would be the worst idea. It's going to take 180 days, but even without me being at war right now, it's going to take a little while for me to uh, recuperate my artillery losses. Anyway, let's not belabor the point here anymore. Uh, we should not have anyone we need to worry about. And hopefully we can make some short work of the Chinese communists. I'd like it also if I maybe got some lend lease offers from anybody. Help with my again to just help with my artillery shortage. How are you two looking? Attack? Nope, that's not gonna happen, not with those mountains. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, a little bit of toad artillery. Every little bit helps. Leningrad has fallen, so I think uh, it's really just a matter of the Soviets reaching the Urals at this point. Okay, continue to press forward here, please. Very good, very good. Keep that coming. All right, keep these divisions busy while they walk forward. Very good. Oh, got pushed right back. It's going to be all right. Wow, this is taking all day to walk through, though. They have no organization, at least, so I've got that going for me. Okay, no more delays. We need the logistic companies, even if we're going to be fighting in the east. They will be invaluable. It will be invaluable, I mean. It will be invaluable to have those logistical com logistic companies, as far as my supply is concerned. This war has already been going on for over a month. Not digging that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe to right there. Do that. I might need one, two, three, four armies over here. And then my tanks, I might move over here into this region. I'm guessing that China's gonna fall soon, so I'm gonna need to take this tile and I need to take these tiles to uh, you know get some good encirclements going. All right, we gotta get a good solid push here. What is this tundra? It's desert. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Oh, good, we got some military factories available. Everything for right now is just gonna go into my artillery. We just got the dispersed industry, so that's gonna help. Um, yeah, just everything we can get to help with the attrition. Four days. Uh oh. Don't go red on me now. All right, construction's done. Uh, I think now we can get the shock and awe. Little short on steel. I'm gonna soon have to be trading this with uh, Germany. <laughs> Because I don't think Stalin is very long for this world. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't reinforce there. Keep attacking here and here. Am I running out of infantry equipment now? Yes. Okay, that's where I start to see a real problem. Why are these guys not dead yet? Let's go. There we go. What's the problem? Come on, attack him here. Less than a day, it says. We're also ready to conquer Tibet. I wonder if I should move these guys over now. There we go, there goes Communist China. We've capitulated. Uh, unfortunately, regular China got a chunk of it. That's really too bad. So we'll have you guys all come down here to 
deal with that. And the rest of you, I want you guys to come over here. Wait, whoops. Yeah, right here, I think, will be fine. Better. Still working on infrastructure. Okay, good. That's done. Um, let me at least get this. It's going to cost me 360. I, I want to get this up here. If China takes this, this is actually it's kind of a good thing because it shortens my border. So we'll prioritize. Is China really not going to take anything? I need 363. Nope. Okay, got that. Is that everything? Huh. That's odd. Oh, because they were taking this. They took uh, Shanxi. Right. Okay, that's a little interesting. Tibet has been defiant. Oh, Tibet, Tibet, Tibet. All right, what are we going to do in the meantime? We could do the military academy. Um... Four and no prioritizing the interior would also be pretty good for stability. So how about we prioritize the interior and improve the workers' conditions? So between those two things, um, my war stability should start to look pretty good. All right now, you guys, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I can't really draw the line here until um, China's dead, and I'm sure China will die. So for right now, let's do let's do this. That's just gonna kind of have to do it for right now. I almost wish they would just uh, link up here. No, because then this takes away my one tile cutoff possibility. Well, well, China shouldn't be lasting much longer. They're down to their capital. There goes Pearl Harbor. Uh, good defense. Good defense, United States. Um, land doctrine is being worked on. So, do I even want to bother? No, yeah, I, I really should be working a little bit on this. Long way off still, for also from getting... There goes China. Okay, China finally capitulated. Uh, but I was going to say, I still have a long way to go before I can get that fifth research slot. All right, how far can we stretch this? How about right here? That ought to be just fine. And so I want a fourth army to cover that section. Are these guys, these guys are already? All right. Okay, this new one is gonna have its own field marshal. So this is where we're gonna bring in Ma Wu. And you need a new commander. It's going to take a couple of days. But for right now, um, I want you down here. And whoops, I didn't uh, accidentally assign an army that doesn't need to be over there just yet. Okay, better. Let's move you over here and deal with Tibet first. How long until this expires? I've got until 1946. Though, see, just these 24 should be enough. Uh, they might have up to 27 divisions. I think I'll be all right, though. 87 more days on logistics. 344 more days on the artillery. Okay, let's get another 24 set up. It's going to put me a little short on infantry equipment. That's okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode there for today. I'm sorry, it's going to have to be a short one. Thanks for joining me. I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you next time. Bye.